In this tutorial, I want to show you how you can troubleshoot an XLOOKUP function whenever it is producing an error and some of the key things that you should look at and try and double check that will work 9 times out of 10. So here we have an XLOOKUP that is trying to return the continent for a given country. But for some of them it works and for other ones it doesn't. So the first thing you should try and whenever, and whenever you're looking at, look, again, your X lookup, you want to make sure that your lookup array and your return arrays are referencing the same range of cells. Like cells, things like things that are kind of rectangular per se. So you want to make sure that if your lookup array is C3 to C97, return array is doing the same thing, right? But as you can see, it's not. So this is referencing C3 to C97 for lookup array, and re return array is referencing C4 to B195, right? So as you can see, it's the it's the 4 to 195 versus 3 to 197. So from here, we're going to have it be each be from 3 to 3 197. Let's see if that works. As you can see, that works for that example. And one of the things that you can see is that our lookup rate or return rate are not locked down. As you can see, as you can see, as we go down the different countries. The lookup rate and return rate changes, right? Which can make it to where, like, some of these countries might fall out of the range if they're higher up in the list. So we're going to go through and going to just lock down our return rate, return rate in your lookup array. So that way, anything that's higher in the list will not kind of fall out. As you can see, same to in principle, right? It was producing the error when I locked the range down, it now works. That's because this one was actually at the top, but because of the list, but because we didn't lock down the range, it wasn't returning the country. Now we still have one more country that's giving us an error. And this is probably in the lookup array. So we say that for some reason the lookup value is and it's probably lookup value, and for some reason the xlookup is not finding the lookup value, it is actually turning an end A. And one thing to note is that just because something might visually looks the same, doesn't mean it actually is the same. So like Fiji space is not the same as Fiji space, right? Something a date formatted as text is not the same as a date formatted as a date. So that's something to keep in mind. And one thing we can do to test this, we can use the match function. And the match function will basically just say, hey, if this is, you know, which row is this found, right? And if the match function produces a number, then that means that it's found in the list somewhere, right? But if it's not found, then it will produce an error. So we want to look up this value in the country. We can do control space to highlight the whole column just really quickly. And the match type, we want it to be the exact same thing, right? That's what XLOOKUP looks looking for too. So you can see the match function is also producing error, which means that for some reason it's not finding Fiji. Well, it's Fiji in our data set at all, right? So to see if it is, we're going to highlight this right here, and we're going to turn on a filter. So we do score and filter, and then we're going to do filter to turn on a filter. We're going to drop down the filter and then tie Fiji. So Fiji is here. Well, is it the same Fiji? To test that, we're going to copy paste this Fiji right here really quickly. And just going to do equals this, right? So if this equals this, it's going to return true, saying it's the same thing. If it's not, it's going to return false. Hmm. So they look the same, but they're not the same. So that could be different. Well, if something's different, it's usually in the space, in the way it's spelled, or the way it's formatted, or if there's some sort of a lagging space. So. As you can see, going into this PG right here, there's no space after the I. But going into this PG right here, there is a space, right? This is PG space. This is just PG. So, moving the space, it, you can now see PG is in Australia. And also check the formatting, like noted. So, for example, if the date's not working, make sure they're both formatted as the date. Make sure, like, make sure if it's a month, for example. Another thing to check if it's a month, like, Right, and kind of give a brief example. If you format this right as a date, D 
these will both like January 1st, 2024 and January 31st, 2024 will both show up as January 2024 based on the formatting, right? But one is the end of the month and the other one is the beginning of the month, which can be tricky in a sense that like, you know, they're both, they both appear to be the same, but they're different dates. So make sure, so one thing you can check too, if the date's formatted like this, just make it a short date instead to see, okay, is this actually the same date? That's it. I hope you found this to be helpful. If you did, like, subscribe, comment. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.